Hello and welcome to another fly tying episode with Stuart Foxall. Today he is tying a Chartres intruder fly. We're starting off with an articulated shank and we're going to attach our Chartres dumbbell eyes at the front using a figure of eight pattern with our thread. Make sure to get plenty of turns until you're happy that everything is nice and secure and then add a little bit of super glue just to finish off this section of the fly. Next we're going to tie in our intruder wire. This one comes pre-rigged with a single stinger hook so that we can measure the length. So we're measuring from the end of the hook up to the bend against the eye of the articulated shank. That's usually about the right length. And when you're happy with the length, we're going to add a little bit of super glue and then lock everything into place. Doubling back the wire just to keep everything nice and secure. Just take your time to make sure that everything is nice and smooth on the body. Next we're going to create a dubbing ball using this Chartres dubbing mix. This is going to help flare out the materials. Just going to brush it out a little bit. Next we're going to tie in some barred feather fibers and we're going to tie these into a V shape on the side. Tie in the waste materials to build up your body and keep everything nice and secure. Next we're going to tie in some holographic flash. Doubled back for extra security. And we're going to add in some pearl flash as well. Doubled back again. Now 
Next, we're going to tie in some oval tinsel that's going to act as the ribbing for the body. Now we're going to add in a long natural grizzle hackle with the same barb length all the way along that's going to create a nice even body. Then we're going to tie in some holographic flat braid. And we're going to start working up the body overlapping with every turn. Just stopping short of the dumbbell eyes. Tie it in and trim away the waist. Next we're going to take our hackle and wind it around the body. You see the length of the fibers are all the same. Tie it off and trim away the waist. Next, in the opposite direction overlapping the hackle fibers, we're going to wind up the oval tinsel. And this is going to help make everything nice and strong. So even if the hackle fiber breaks, it won't destroy the fly. Plenty of tight turns and trim away the waist. Next, we're going to add our second dubbing ball using the same Chartres dubbing mix. And we're going to brush it out again. Next, we're tying in a soft chartreuse hen hackle. Three to four turns until you're happy with the fiber content. And tie it down nice and securely, pulling the stem through gently if you feel it's going to be a little stronger and then trim away the waist.
Next, we're going to tie in some holographic flash, doubled back for extra security. Trimmed at different lengths. Next, we're going to tie in some more of our barred ostrich fibers. And we're going to tie these all the way around the fly in a couple of sections. Next, we're tying in some pearl flash over the top of the fly. And we're going to add in another soft hen hackle in Chartres again. as many turns as you like until you're happy with the fiber content. Finally, we're going to take a couple of our natural grizzle hackles, and these are going to run over the top of the fly as our wings. Just trim up any of the flash if you think that they're a little too long. Finally, to make sure everything is nice and secure, we're going to add a little bit of super glue to our thread and then wind that in. And for extra security, we're just going to add in a few whip finishes here.
just going to look at the fly and make sure that there's no long fibers that need to be cut down. Make sure we're happy with everything. So there you have it. That's the Chartreuse Intruder Fly. If you like this video, don't forget to comment down below and tell us what you think. And if you have any suggestions for future tying episodes, we'll be releasing at least one fly tying video every week, every Friday, possibly more in the future. Tight lines.